What's up, what's up, what's up, fish ribes people? This is Donald Fish Ribes here. Haven't spoken to you guys in a bit. Guys, it's a rainy, terrible, terrible rainy period of docking with me in Trinidad. So, you know, I've come out to check to see what's going on with my fishers. They seem to be enjoying the weather though. But there are some parts of Trinidad and Tobago that's under severe flooding. Worst flooding ever. You know, so we want to tell people keep strong. Keep strong. And, you know, be thankful for life. Because you only get what you can manage. Alright, so anyway, I'm just doing a quick update, I haven't spoken to you guys in a little bit. See my koi's, the pond is full to capacity with rainwater, koi's doing okay, and I have some sharks in here too, all is well with those, alright. I've taken on, taken off my um, air pump, recharging the batteries, making sure it's to the fullest capacity, the rechargeable batteries, so that in the event the electricity goes, I would have adequate supply. It usually gives me about 12 hours. Lately, I noticed it did drop. So I'm um, recharging those as we speak. Right. Moving over to my cichlid pond. You know I always say this is my favorite pond. I mean I love my koi's but I know that eventually these cichlid ponds will be special because so far these fishes in here and you know I love to buy this very small fishes. These fishes in here are about um, let me see, I finished the koi pond in about May or so. So it's about five months, yeah? I mean, mainly the blue dolphins are fishes that have been in here all the time. There's a lot of blue dolphins. They have. I actually started the blue dolphins with about two or three blue dolphins. And now I have about... It's hundreds, practically. Um... But all of the other fish, the strawberries, the dragons, the flower horns, all the other fishes, those newer fishes were done, were brought in when the, when the koi pond was completed. And I transferred them usually before they were in here, transferred them over to the new koi pond and turned this into a cichlid pond. For those of you who checked my previous videos, you will know that. And, um, based on that so these fishes are about in the range of about six months and they have grown a lot and as you can see there's a lot of babies too a lot of those small yellow dragons are, are babies and there's a lot of texas cichlid babies a lot of babies in here um, and i have a lot of variety i've even seen some OB cichlids, they bred young ones too. I saw some white clouds. Um, the only fishes in here that I haven't seen breed yet is the Venustas. Otherwise, not all the other species I have have in fact bred and have representation in here. The Makobi red. Oh, yes, and these um, yeah, some other random fish I have in here, like some um. Rainbow fish, bala sharks, tin foil barbs. Those particular ones haven't really bred in here. Um, don't think they are the age yet. As a matter of fact, the bala shark I have here, a pretty decent sized one, had him a while, but um, he's a loner and the others are much smaller than him. What happened? I had about three of them when I started and um, The other two passed away, you know, with all different fa factors, would have caused to them passing away. And 
he was his sole survivor and then I went and I got about four younger ones so the four is too small for him and normally those fish takes about two three years to breed I probably have that baller shot for about I would say a year year and a half or so it's we can see him swimming around in the corner there I'm sure All right. so you know it's all it's all weather is overcast overcast as I said before in Trinidad here we've been having rain since Thursday today is Saturday I think today is the 20th of October don't hold me to that guys but yeah I think it's the 20th Saturday 20th October and as I said there's horrible weather horrible weather rain has been falling constant from since Tuesday so a lot of the country is, is in, inundated with, with terrible terrible flooding I mean there may be even possible deaths um, people houses were flooded out all 10 feet 9 feet of water um, so it's a serious situation um, having said that I will not provide any fake news I did hear about one confirmation of a death but you know the details that you got before any other further confirmations really did sound very concerning to say the least but we pray for the best for those folks pray for the best for those folks right. see my big venustas there my face blue blue in the face He's a fast mover, but I have a, as I said, I have a lot of variety of fish here, a lot of variety of the, the cichlids, and um, what am I doing to this camera here, Lord? I don't know what, I got something there. Anyway, let me... Yeah, so it's a wide range of fishes in here so you know as I said my expectation is that this pond would become the premier pond because with all the variety and of, of, of um, cichlids in here imagine these cichlids one year old you know um, two years later the size they can become and this is a pretty decent sized pond and, and you know, one of the things, there's this thing about aggression and cichlids. One of the things I've noticed, I think it's because of the size. So this is an 1100 gallon pond. And so there's adequate room for them. The only thing I need to do, I have some work to do in terms of creating more spaces for them as they get mature. They may have a need for more breeding space. But I mean, cichlids do in fact carry eggs they, in their mouths and that kind of thing. So it's really a lot of hiding spaces I did produce, but I still have, as you would have seen, I did pass some of my rocks there. I have a lot of rocks that I can still put in here to create more hiding spaces. So, you know, I think because of the space, there is not a lot of aggression. So there's some aggression, but it, to me it's a lot of breeding action, and any aggression is temporary. When I first had them, I lost, you know, three, four over time. Like I would have gotten three, four red Macobis and then one would have died. I would have gotten, you know, two, three Venustas and then one would have died. I would have gotten some Neon Johannes and uh, one of them would have died. But lately, in all the others I've picked up, I have no deaths very hardly that's I did see a YouTube video one time um, where they were saying that you know the cichlids is a cycle they breed and then they die but fortunately so far I haven't seen that I've seen most of them living breeding a lot of young ones they're not killing the young ones the young ones are you know hiding and when they get about half an inch they would come out and swim with the bigger guys and there would not be any real 
att- attempt to kill them. So it's, I think it's a natural habitat. Once you have the size of space, like how I have the space for them, they, they, they act really civil. I mean, okay, I have three, four flower horns in here. Look, one is now coming there, it's yellow. I have about two yellow ones and two black. Those black are changing colors, I noticed. I don't know what colors they are yet because the guy that sold me them, he didn't really have de- much details on them. But they in particular, I'm noticing blues on them, green on them, but they're black and changing. I see that getting a tint of yellow. So I'm really excited to see what those two will come out to be. But they are huge, eh? and they're hu- more huge than the yellow ones that I have currently. Um, so, you know, you will see. As you know, I was now watching this video here. I'm wondering if I'm getting a reflection of myself. I hope that wasn't happening, but... Oh boy. Even if it is, well, you know, I hope you guys could forgive me for that. Um, but having said that, let me do a review of, of some of the fishes. Give you a, Try to give a, a little close-up on them. So guys, you know, I trust you'd have seen the majority of them. As I said, there's a lot of variation of cichlids in here. Um, it's, I even have some, um, um, remind me, I have some more exotic ones, frontosas, I have about three of them in here. But they do a lot of hiding in the rocks and stuff. So you're not always lucky to catch them. But I would keep trying to show you all. And I'm very excited with how this spawn will eventually end up looking. So as I said, it's a rainy day. The drizzles are starting to fall here again. So we'll chat again soon. And enjoy your weekend. This is Donald Fish Vibes, over and out. See you all next time.